Hello and welcome back to revise GCSEhistory.co.uk This is the fifth video in the topic of medieval medicine and in this video today we are going to be looking at the developments in anatomy and surgery in the Middle Ages. Developments in anatomy during the Middle Ages. In the Middle Ages medical knowledge went into reverse the books of the Greeks and Romans were lost after the fall of the Roman Empire. Even when universities were set up, lectures on anatomy were incredibly basic. Whoops. And they consisted of a butcher pointing to different parts of the body whilst a lecturer read the work of Galen. Although his ideas were debated by students, nobody dared to challenge Galen. Oops, sorry about that. Nobody dared to challenge Galen, and his ideas were accepted as absolute truth. New ideas, this is also a bit of a silly thing that they did. New ideas were judged on the debating skills of the person who made the discovery, not on scientific proof. So if someone made this amazing discovery and they had lots of scientific proof to back it up but they weren't a people person and weren't very good at debating their new idea their new idea wouldn't be put into practice because it would be judged as not being not very good but if someone was amazing at debating and had a rubbish idea based on no scientific proof their idea would be put into practice seems a bit mad but that's just their belief this picture up here shows a uh, anatomy a lecture in the Middle Ages. Here we can see a lecturer reading the work of Galen why this barber surgeon or this butcher points at the parts of a patient's body and the doctors are all having a look around him. Developments in surgery. The Middle Ages was a very violent period. This meant there was a great demand for surgery because of warfare. Great demand for surgery. Very violent. Surgery was a profession held in such low regard that surgical procedures were often carried out by untrained barber surgeon, i.e. the local barber who also cut people's hair. Wine was first used as an antiseptic during the Middle Ages. Surgical treatments were still simple as major surgery was risky and attempts were made at anaesthetics. And this source up here, just have a look at this. This source talks about the use of an early anaesthetic in the Middle Ages to make a drink that men call dwale to make him sleep while men carve him. Carve him, we're talking about operating on him or carrying out surgery. Take three spoonfuls of the gall of, bo of a boa, three spoonfuls of hemlock juice, three spoonfuls of wild nept, three spoonfuls of lettuce, three spoonfuls of poppy, three spoonfuls of henbane and three spoonfuls of vinegar and mix them all together and boil them a little and put thereof three spoonfuls into half a gallon of good wine and mix it well together. Let him that shall be carved, the man you're operating on, sit against a good fire and make him drink until he falls asleep and then you safely may carve him. So that's a recipe for an anaesthetic from the late Middle Ages, the late Middle Ages. So I've just took that source out of the textbook and next to that source in the textbook it says that that anaesthetic has been scientifically proven, uh, now we've discovered the source, to be successful although it would put a man to sleep if they had too much of it there's a very good chance that the man wouldn't wake up again after the operation and it would kill him. This source here shows a wound man, which I've spoke about very, very briefly in a previous video. A wound man told doctors and surgeons parts of the body they could operate on and different types of injuries gained during war that could be treated. So all these injuries gained during warfare could be treated successfully by barber surgeons. The wound man, along with the urine chart and zodiac man, was all put together in a little book and given to doctors and used for future reference. So that source there shows a wound man that doctors and surgeons referred to in the Middle Ages. Okay, so that's the end of all the knowledge for the video today. Here are four quick knowledge recall questions you may wish to attempt. 
pause the video here if you want to have a go at them yourself. If not, carry on watching, we'll do them together. Describe the nature of lectures on anatomy in the universities. So, lecturers read the work of Galen and a butcher or barber pointed to different parts of the body. I'll just write different parts on here. Different parts of the body. There we are. Next question. What new medical what were new medical ideas judged on? The debating skills, not on scientific proof of the person with the idea. What enabled surgery to advance during the Middle Ages? There was lots of war. It's a very violent period. There was a lot of war. And a very violent period. Uh, who carried out surgical operations in the Middle Ages? Untrained barber surgeons. The same people as would cut people's hair. Untrained barber surgeons. Because surgery was held in such low regard that it was carried out by untrained barber surgeons. Question 1 was about the nature of lectures at university. And this image up here shows a lecturer reading the works of Galen while these medical students just sit and listen to him. So, thank you for watching this video today on the developments made in anatomy and surgery during the, during the Middle Ages. If you would like to watch more of my videos, head over to my website, revisegcsehistory.co.uk, where you will find some more videos similar to this. Thank you for watching this video today, and I will see you again very soon.